Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Sunless Sea. So last time we had just uh, started exploring the Hunter Sea and we had just finished exploring the Hunter's Keep Island. So today let's continue our adventure, let's see what else is in store for us. So as I mentioned there is nothing else to do on her Hunter's Keep. The sisters are not accepting anyone and we don't have any more recent news to tempt them with. So let's go. Are there any shops here? No. Alright. Let's set off. Okay, so here we have a map of the undersea. And as you can see, we're over here. Here is Fallen London. So we have explored just a very very small part of the whole of the whole world. Okay, one thing we have is the Z bat which it's uh, kind of like a, you know like a sonar we send it out to explore to see if there are any islands nearby but apparently so far there aren't so you might wondering why I'm going this way uh, the reason is that as I mentioned I played the game before so I kind of have an idea where certain places are Although the map is randomized with every game, some islands, some locations are always in the same place. Like for instance, uh, Hunter's Keep is always right next to London. And now the colony of Vanderbite, if you remember. So our z bat just found something and it's over here, it's marked with this bat icon. And this is Vanderbite. If you remember, that was like the place where the tomb colonies uh, are sent. The tomb colonies. Okay, so we just got enough experience for a secret. If you recall, we needed one secret to access the university, which we're going to do once we return to London. But yeah. Now, as you uh, might have noticed, I turn off the light in order to save some fuel since there are enough lamps here around Vanderbite. And here we have also enough time has passed for us to have the something awaits you import. So, let's see what happens here. An absent friend. It is everything I imagined, he tells you breathlessly. But there is someone missing. Please, bring her to me. So, this is our passenger that we took uh, in a coffin, who requested uh, for us to send him here. So, let's see. A big commission. She went off to Mangrove College, she needed to get out of London. But Vanderbite is just as safe as the college, and I'll wager she is bored of mud by now. Okay, so basically we have another quest, right? Bring the Shady Sword to Vanderbite from the Mangrove College. So we need to travel to this port and bring the Shady Sword, which is basically this guy's girlfriend. <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay. Um, so wait a second. Basically we didn't get anything. So probably the reward is going to be once we bring the Shady Sword over here. Okay. Never mind then. This kind of sucks. I thought we were going to get some reward right away, but nothing we can do at the time. Let's explore the tomb colony of Vanderbite. Okay, okay, okay. So this first task we cannot do yet because we don't have a submarine, as you can see. So we need to be capable of submarine travel. This one here as well. A dusty glass of wine. Okay, this is probably the way to reduce terror. But we need to have terror of 25 and we only have 2. So we don't really need this anyway. So, explore Vanderbite. In certain ports you are giving the option to just explore and then random events will happen. So we don't know what exactly will happen. But all we need is this something awaits you. Which currently we do. So let's do it, let's explore. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Picnic. Monumental ruins. Oh. The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neat stone, neat wall stone, carved with blank height, unsmiling face and blocky stoic serpents. Okay, uh, one thing that you might notice is that, uh, you know, this game is pretty weird. So, the descriptions of the places and the things that happen may not always make sense. So, a good true of thumb is just go with it, you know, just accept it, just accept it as normal. Once you start questioning everything, uh, you're never gonna get too far in this game because it's full of weird things, weird events, weird things happening. So just accept it, okay. Alright. So we have an option to rest and we only need one supply. So what I assume is going to happen is we're going to lose some terror but we lose one supply as well which I don't really want to do. Or we can search around. So here is what it says here, a modest challenge. Okay, so this is a mirrors challenge. So certain actions are going to require us to have like a certain uh, score for one of our main characteristics. Or to put it more exactly, uh, you know, we'll need uh, to have a certain score to have a hundred chance of this action being successful. So the action can either success or fail and our mirror score gives us a 60% chance of success. So that's basically 2 out of 3. So let's let's try it. And we succeeded. This is good. So what we gained is just 28 fragments or 28 experience. Which is not very terribly much but it's still something. I guess if we failed we might... Usually we gain some terror or nothing happens or in the worst cases we lose something like we lose health or we lose crew or something like that. Never mind. Let's get back to Vanderbite. So as you can see here we don't have the option to export it anymore since we lost the something awaits you. Alright, visit the first curator. Okay, so this is basically this is the guy who is kind of like the head honcho of this colony. He's like the leader of the tomb colonists and he's going to give us one of the longest quests in the game. Basically, let's just... But first, actually, let's see, gather gossip. This is like uh, getting a port a port, so let's do that. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandage peace. So yeah, this is the colony of the living mummies or the bandaged tomb colonists. And that's where... It's like, it's kind of like Florida for old people, but yeah, <laughs> I never really thought about it this way. It's kind of like, well, once you get too old, we go here to finish your life, what remains of it. Anyway, let's go meet the first curator. So as you can see, but even tomb colonies dissolve in the end, it's time is close. So the first curator, I guess, is the oldest zombie here. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonists. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. No more light, the obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. So I guess it's because he is very old that, you know, he is afraid that he's going to, the moths are going to eat him. Anyway, listen to whispered request. So this is the quest I was talking to you about. Z Captain, Silk Skin. So yeah, basically Silk Skin is what they call us regular people. Not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors, seven colors. Pay well. Alright, and this is like a list of very weird colors names. I don't know what those mean, basically. As all men, we only see 16 colors. Blue, green, red, yellow, so on. Ask about the Grand Sanatorium. Oh, Silk Skin, you don't want to know. We don't die here below, not unless we go to Z. So we need something else. 
somewhere to end. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, basically, <laughs> apparently you don't die of old age here. You can die if you go to the Z and get killed by something, but basically if you want to end, you have to go to this place. Alright, so let's accept the quest. Okay. So basically we're supposed to find seven cars. And these are all there are. Along with a very very short and very vague description of each of them. So, you know. It's not going to help us just reading those. It's not going to help us at all. Basically, we're going to assemble doing different things in different quests. We're going to assemble some items and every once in a while we should return here and we're going to find out that one of the things, one of the weird things we assembled is actually one of the cars that the guy was looking for. So, we're going to do that. Alright, so let's see the journal here. And, no, actually it's in the hold. So you see those, these are basically the subtasks for for this long quest and once we fulfill a certain subtask is going to disappear from here okay let's see so here we have shops we can buy fuel and supplies but here the price is higher than in london like in london fuel it goes only for 10 echoes here is for 20 and supplies is for 20 and here for 30 we can also sell some things we can sell recent news but actually it's better to give them to the sisters at Hunter's Keep. You can send sales things. These are like other collect collectible items we can find. And you can even sell tomb colonies. Okay, that's interesting. So this is all we can do here, I believe. If we do this again, basically it's the same thing. So this is what this is going to get unlocked once we obtain all the cars. Okay. So let's see. We can either go north or we can actually go back to London. But actually, let's do it like this. Since we are going to run out of fuel and uh, food eventually, it's better I think to head back. But we're going to take a bit of a detour to explore some more of the map. So let's go east. And in, in the process we're going to discover some new places and gain some fragments. Which is are going to get converted to cities. Oh, and this is our first encounter. So, okay. With the first ship, the first the starting weapon. Most of everything here is going to kill you. This is the exception. This is the only, the only animal which we can kill. So as you can see here, uh, this there is like a, a, a green border around our weapon, which becomes yellow at the end. This means that our weapon is fully charged, so we can hit this button and and strike. So this like a huge crap. Um, our other megalops. Oh god, did it go beneath the sea? Oh, it got out again. Okay, so this is the only animal that we can safely safely kill. And here we have the remains. Okay. So I have two options. To butcher it for supplies, which is going to reduce our hunger a little bit, which is too little. So let's dissect it for knowledge. This is going to give us some some fragments. And there is like a slight risk, but our pages are high enough so that we're going to gain we're going to be successful most of the times so we gain we gain 25 fragments which is good i guess not bad so yeah with the first ship oh okay so this is another exception usually most of the things almost everything that moves under the sea is going to kill you but this this is like a blue ship so it's like it's like uh, it's like another explorer, and it's it's actually friendly. It's not going to it's not going to try to attack you, as you can see. So everything else except the the crap, the Auroro megalops, and this uh, steamer is going to kill us, and we need to run away from them. 
and there is something here yikes pirates okay so we found another island let's go there and explore and let's try to st stay away from this pilot okay oops discovered demo island and we have the something away to import but we're running out of fuel so after here we gotta go back to London just to make sure we don't run out of fuel okay let's do this let's see this new island a fervid forest of fungus so this island is the location of the iron and misery company funging station <laughs> whatever that means it's basically a place where they grow mushrooms okay of puffs daffable factor oh hello captain thank god for visitors we go quite mad out here otherwise ha 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 quite mad how can we be of service of assistance so the factor is basically the guy who is in charge of this place so we can have tea with him if we have something awaits you which we do and this is a good way to reduce terror and to gain some supplies which is nice we can also accept a volunteer but which is also going to consume our something awaits you so uh, you know or we can explore the place so i think this would trigger another random event which might be good might be bad with this one we will get a new record route very very cheap just for one echo but we don't we don't actually need one right now i think this option is better since we get some supplies we let's let's compile a port report actually which is something we should always do of course Siren Misery's activities here don't seem that interesting nevertheless record what you can so yeah we're going to get some extra money and we can gather supplies okay so basically this is a matter of luck so we have a six percent chance of being positive and what will happen if we don't do it properly we're going to gain some terror so let me just show you what happens yeah unfortunately we are unlucky we didn't get any supplies and we gained five terror so this was bad but you know what can you do it's a matter of luck 60 percent of the chance we are supposed to be lucky so anyway, we can have tea and we are going to reduce some of this terror anyway, if I remember correctly. Okay, that's a lot of text. Basically, we have tea with the guy. He is a good company. Sharing old stories about the sea and the roses. So he's telling you of these are certain locations in, in the undersea on the map. Okay, vendor bite, we were just there. all right so we lost two terror which is good we gain eh, one fragment this is nothing and we got one surprise which is also very very good so now we've learned of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Venderbite. so the next time we go there we can find this restaurant that the guy told us about is there anything else we can do we can try our luck again but let's not at the moment and there are some shops where we can buy fuel and supplies basically this harbor provisioners is a common shop it's present in many many places in many ports and has the same prices basically 20 echoes for fuel and 34 for supplies so let's leave already but it's good that we explore some more of the map let's go a bit south and whoops okay that's not good hope the guy doesn't notice us so as you can see here since we turn off the lamp for a portion of the time the terror rolls really, really quick but this way we are like stealthier and also so we can basically not aggro the the pirates and also we save fuel so it's good to sometimes not have the lamp turned on but here it's like darker so let's let's actually okay we are running out of surprise but the fuel is running out faster so from my observations whoops okay this is a very very big very very big animal you gotta stay away from it
let's see, we enter the snares, this is a new location. Wobble into fields, gain some more fragments. But there are no ports here, so... Ooh, a very big crap. Yeah, this guy, this guy is not going to be easy to kill. So let's run away from him. Okay, this way we're going to go to London. Let's 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 just circle a bit south to explore some more. Okay, so there is this like a light ship. Here we can buy some fuel, and here we can exchange some recent news. Okay, I'm going to stop here just to show you what happens. So it's a light ship. So here we have recent news, we can uh, spend it and actually lose some terror, but we don't currently. And we can purchase fuel, but it's actually twice more expensive than in London, so let's not do that. But yeah, sometimes if uh, you're really, really... Okay, discovering some more locations. And here, as you can see, it's red, so terrain is rising really quickly. But now there are some lumps, so very, very soon we're going to be back. Come on. Okay, now it's brown again. So we're going back to London. So here it's less scary. Okay, let's go back to London. And let's turn in those port reports that we gathered to the Admiralty so we can get some money and some Admiralty favors. Okay, back in London. Ooh, the revenue man. Okay, so this is basically their customs service. So, every once in a while they're going to search us for illegal objects and they're described here. So, sunlight field mirror cash box is basically like sunlight field into a box. Very, very expensive, very precious in fallen London, but also illegal. So here these are like crates of souls. Yeah, just go with it viewers. Basically here <laughs> you can carry souls in a box. Tadam. And romantic literature, because what the hell, romantic literature is illegal here in this world. Okay, we don't have any of those, so let them do their worst. They roam your deck like wolves, they don't find anything. Okay, let's collect our messages. Something has changed in the need, yeah, that's nice to tell me about it. Someone wants to sign on, that's good, okay. We have a free evening and there is like the rose market so basically it's a place where we can sell some of the things we found. Okay so our fire bones we didn't find any scintillac so there's nothing we can do here. But let's go to London and first let's visit the Admiralty's office. So here we can submit our port reports. So Hunter skip. As you can see we gain 5 echo, it's only 5 echo since it's very closed. But more importantly we also gain one favor. So favors are like basically an IOU that the Admiralty owes you. So they can be exchanged for many useful things like they can repair your ship or they can give you fuel for them or they can give you uh, they can even save you from the custom services that we just saw. So it's good to have more favors. And the thing is that you're going to gain a favor every time you submit a port report of a new place, of a place you haven't been to before. But you're always going to get one fuel when you submit a port report, even if you've been to the place before. So next time we go to Hunter's Keep, we're just going to get the fuel. Anyway, let's turn in the rest of them. Vendor Bite, here a little bit more echo. And we're getting more favors and more fuel. Demio Island, this is the fungus place. 20 echoes, okay, they're getting progressively more expensive. And that's it, those are the only three islands that we, we explored. But if you remember correctly, hmm, alright, since we explored three islands, then 
we can meet with the admiral himself. So that's the guy. So this is what I was talking about here. We need four favors actually, but if we want to get some extra fuel, we can train in favors for that. We can submit vital intelligence, which is basically, you know, information like usually strategic information very important from certain ports which we don't have yet okay we can uh, submit more port reports but we don't have any more what else can we do we can submit a revelatory, revelatory chart which we don't have or most of the great game which we don't have either so these are other items Okay, so let's ask what he needs. Visit the port, and we'll be interested in the port report. Okay, we already did that. Visit a place of particular interest, and we'll be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We'll pay you well, of course. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. He slip curls. What's left of it? Haha, <laughs> alright. So, huh. I was thinking... What the hell? Let's get back to him. He was supposed to give us uh, a quest. Or strategic information, but we didn't for some reason. Okay, maybe. Maybe I need to come later. We'll get to do this. Yeah, I did that several times already, so I don't know why I expect a different outcome. What about here? Did he? Do we have an appointment? No, okay, never mind then. Okay, now we have one secret, so let's visit the university. So we lost one of the secrets, uh, how sad. But here we have a favor from the antiquarian. And we gain one page, so nice. So this is the alarming scholar. This is another fine individual who is going to give us money for different things we, we give him or her. Actually, yeah, uh, one thing about this game, many characters, gender is ambiguous. <laughs> So I don't know, this guy kind of looks like a guy, like the eyes, but like the lips and the shape of the face is kind of feminine, so it could be either, I don't know, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Okay, what have you brought me? So let's see, a searing enigma, this is like one of the most, r the rarest items in the game and it's going to give us a lot of money, but it's going to be a while till we can get one of those. The Dread Surmise is, it's actually even rarer, it's like one of the late late game items and if we give this to him or her it's going to become unavailable okay what the hell apparently we have nothing to give him don't we have a okay we have a tale of terror but we don't have a memory of a different distant shore or a sea story these are like other type of tales so we have nothing to give them how sad Anyway, let's leave the university. Visit the Rose Market. Okay, so here they're looking for certain things. So, moves of the great game or watch for Curio. And we don't have any of those. We can spend our free evening to usher in a new day at the market. Which will change those two things. So, the market will be looking for different things. Which sometimes might be useful. It might ask us for things that we already have, which we can sell for money. But currently we don't have almost anything, so I think that's a, a waste of using this free night. It can be used better doing other things. Okay, so... Let's see, let's go from the bottom now. A new recruit. So, we can hire an officer. And we have two options. Actually, three. First one is the Carnelian Exile, which is the first officer. Increasing mirrors and pages, and we can purchase their services for 50 echoes. 
or the tireless mechanic again for 50 echoes who is like uh, in Kyrus's veils and fuel efficiency oh that's nice okay right so I already have mirrors so maybe we don't need this one anymore we can only hire one of those with uh, and we, or we can get a regular sailor for actually only 5 echo which is pretty cheap but let's get one of those even though I have to spend a third of my cash yeah I think hmm. I think we have enough so let's see well, let's get the mechanic because we need veils and we need some fuel efficiency okay welcome aboard spoiler first spoiler first so we'll see to that you there help me with that spoiler first so now we have the tireless mechanic so let's see here he is and we can move him to a chief engineer and he's gonna give us he's gonna increase our veils with eight and give us five percent fuel efficiency which both of them are very nice we can talk to him and invite him to dine with us for one supply so we're going to do that later actually because you know uh, currently supplies are kind of uh, we're running low on them so we don't want to waste our supplies until we get some more cash but yeah we can always do that anyway or we can also increase our veils so basically this is the equivalent of leveling up we can spend one secret and we only have one to increase our veils with one and like if we speak to this guy if you remember we can increase our pages again for a secret but let's not do that yet let's keep the secrets a little bit more okay uh, <clears throat> actually why not uh, let's see let's let's increase our pages so as you see we lost a secret it's good to always have one secret as an item so maybe I shouldn't have done that but we're on the very very beginning of the game so there aren't a lot of places that ask for secrets and we increased our pages by one which is always good all right what else is left so I went to the warming score in the university we spoke to the bespeckled admiral you know lodgings okay let's read the morning papers and gain oh again one supplies and one recent news and we lost one terror nice okay back to the rest of the city let's see uh, if we cruise in the wolfstack docks for 10 echo where we can spend our free evening to reduce some terror uh, you know what you can reduce our terror for free but yeah let's let's just do that because I don't remember what exactly happens you are fortunate okay so we lost five terror we lost ten echoes but oh now we have one more recent news nice okay oh okay so we had an encounter a likely last or a dapper chap okay so basically this is the romance subplot of the game which will eventually result in <laughs> something more so basically we can end up having a sweetheart then later a, a wife or a husband depending on what you prefer and uh, later on you can even have a child who can succeed you can become your heir and inherit all your acquired riches but this is for later on so let's see uh, you know I'm I'm into women myself so let's have an encounter with the likely lass next morning he gives you a pewter locket as you wish for it she grips it briefly in her fist don't you dare forget me she says okay oh and we lost some more terror nice so we're almost at zero okay so we're lucky but we cannot do that anymore since we don't have a free evening what else can we do uh, we can hire crew for 30 echo but we don't want to do that okay I think it's time to speak with this guy okay a little gift so this guy is basically a lone shark called the blind bruiser so basically he is offering us to give us 
some food, some supplies and some fuel in exchange for his good, for our good disposition. So let's see, let's inquire further who his employer is. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment. So basically he's like a mobster nearby, a public house. My patron would only hope that you might remember him kindly and I suppose if the opportunity should arise for you to return this kindness then I do not imagine he would refuse you an offer. Okay, so basically this is blackmail. So if we accept we are in this guy's pocket and he's going to start requesting favors for us. But you know, it's I think it's good to accept it because first of all we are starting very low on cash and we have we're running out of fuel and supplies so it's good to, to get us started. And also another thing is that he's going to give us some quests which we have to do otherwise bad hit things will happen. But if we do them then we're going to earn some money. So we're going to accept the dispensation. And voila he gave us 10 fuel and 5 supplies. But now okay we are more suspicious. So basically this is the menace's suspicion quality which is going to raise every time we do suspicious things like when we communicate with loan sharks, apparently. And there are things that we can do that raises this meter. So the higher this thing goes, the more suspicious we are, the more likely it is for us to... for our cargo to be examined by the customs office, which is not good. But anyway, we gained some fuel and supplies, which is good. And finally, the merchant venturer. So, okay. This another entrepreneur, enterprising fellow. Okay, venture his request. Speak to him further or check your journal. So basically, he is giving us a couple more quests. So we need to collect some items. So we can either assemble seven mutter salt. We have our city in Whittier. Okay, this is another port to the north. So 700 tackles for 7 motor salts. Or we can get some 7 devil bone dice. In this place. But this only for 500. Okay. So we might start thinking of collecting those items if we see them. Since this guy is going to pay well for it. But okay. I believe that's everything. And now our fuel and... And... Uh, Supplies are nicely full again, so we can continue our exploration of London of, or the Intersea. Oh, as you can see here, the locket was added to our hold of curiosities, but never mind. Okay, I believe this is a good place to end this video, so until next time guys, bye bye.